How the military invented your favorite things. Hi everyone, welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories behind everyday objects and phenomena. In this video, we're going to reveal how some of the things you use every day were actually invented by or for the military. You might be surprised to learn how war and innovation are closely linked, and how some of the most useful inventions were born out of necessity, accident, or serendipity. So, let's get started. Duct Tape The first item on our list is duct tape, the versatile and sticky material that can fix almost anything. Duct tape was first invented during World War II by a military mother named Vesta Stout, who suggested to President Franklin D. Roosevelt that a stronger material be created to seal ammunition boxes on the battlefield. The War Production Board commissioned Johnson & Johnson to create a new, stronger box tape, which was made of cotton duct cloth coated with rubber-based adhesive. The tape was waterproof, durable, and easy to tear, making it ideal for sealing ammo boxes and repairing equipment. Later, soldiers also used duct tape to make makeshift bandages, splints, and even boots. After the war, duct tape became popular among civilians, especially in the construction industry, where it was used to seal ducts and pipes. That's how duct tape got its name. Microwave Oven The next item on our list is the microwave oven, the device that can heat up your food in minutes. The microwave oven was invented by accident in 1945 by an engineer named Percy Spencer, who was working on radar technology for the U.S. Navy. Spencer noticed that a candy bar in his pocket had melted when he was standing near a magnetron, a device that generates microwaves. He realized that microwaves could be used to cook food faster and more efficiently than conventional ovens. He experimented with popcorn and eggs, and then built the first microwave oven, which was called the Raider Range. The first commercial microwave oven was introduced in 1954 by Raytheon, the company that Spencer worked for. It was 6 feet tall, weighed 750 pounds, and cost $5,000. Today, microwave ovens are much smaller, cheaper, and more common in households around the world. EpiPen the third item on our list is the EpiPen, the life-saving device that can inject epinephrine into someone who is having a severe allergic reaction. The EpiPen was based on an auto-injector technology that was developed by the U.S. military in the 1970s. The man behind this invention was Sheldon Kaplan, who created the Combo Pen, an auto-injector filled with a nerve gas antidote. The Combo Pen was designed to be used by soldiers who were exposed to chemical weapons on the battlefield. Kaplan later adapted his technology to create the EpiPen, which could deliver a dose of epinephrine to counteract anaphylaxis caused by allergies. The EpiPen was approved by the FDA in 1987 and has since saved millions of lives. Aviator Sunglasses The fourth item on our list is Aviator Sunglasses, the stylish eyewear that can protect your eyes from glare and UV rays. Aviator sunglasses were originally developed for pilots in 1936 by Bausch & Lomb, a company that had a contract with the U.S. Army Air Corps. The sunglasses were designed to have large lenses that could cover the entire eye area and block out as much light as possible. They also had a distinctive teardrop shape that matched the shape of the pilot's goggles. The sunglasses were called Ray-Ban aviators because they banned rays from reaching the eyes. They became popular among civilians after World War II when celebrities like Marlon Brando and Audrey Hepburn wore them in movies and magazines. GPS The last item on our list is GPS, or Global Positioning System, the technology that can pinpoint your location anywhere on Earth using satellites. GPS was developed by the U.S. Department of Defense in 1973 as a way to improve navigation and communication for military operations. The system consisted of 24 satellites orbiting the Earth at an altitude of about 20,000 kilometers. Each satellite transmitted signals that could be received by receivers on Earth or in space. By measuring the time difference between the signals from different satellites, a receiver could calculate its position with high accuracy. GPS became available for civilian use in 1983, after a Korean Airlines flight was shot down by the Soviet Union for straying into its airspace. President Ronald Reagan decided to make GPS accessible to the public to prevent such tragedies from happening again.
Today, GPS is used for various purposes, such as navigation, mapping, tracking, and geocaching. So, there you have it. 5 Everyday Items That Were Originally Invented For The Military We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing science stories. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Science Telly.